In this video, we will review chocolate by an Austrian company called Zotter. Zotter specializes in producing fine varieties of chocolate derived from cocoa sourced from different countries. Today, over 60% of the world's cocoa comes from Africa, specifically the Ivory Coast and Congo. However, the cacao tree originated from the present-day Colombia and Venezuela, and there are many different varieties of cacao trees with unique flavors. This is where Zotter stands out by sourcing rare varieties of cocoa from countries such as Guatemala, Peru, Colombia, Madagascar and many others. If you decide to give Zotter chocolate a try, use our link below and coupon code BFILMS10 to get 10% off from your order. Zotter's chocolate is 100% fair trade and organic with vegan options. We bought 7 different bars of chocolate from them, which we review here. However, they have many more on their website. These are perfect as gift for someone who is new to try on chocolate that is unique and far from generic. Zotter sends chocolate to US customers out of Florida. They have a no melt guarantee and add ice packs to the package. We got our chocolate in August when it was super hot and it was still intact. And these are really gourmet, like really small farm, um, unknown places, uh, but are really good because they have different uh, varieties of chocolate that you can't try. Usually you can't try in stores or also this company, Zotter. It's an Austrian company and they make these chocolates and they have really beautiful artwork on them. So the, for example, I know this one from Peru, this is my favorite mm -hmm. artwork. Uh, this is the Criollo variety of mm -hmm. cocoa beans and they're really supposed to be really good, mm -hmm. uh, very rare, unique because in Africa you can't grow these varieties, right? Yeah, they're low yield and uh, well, I think uh, they grow them there, but in very small quantities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. because they suffer diseases and whatnot. Yeah, and these are all fair trade. There's no like child labor or anything. And organic. I'm not sure. Maybe we should try with the darkest ones and then go lighter because mm -hmm. once you try like a yeah. sweet, sweeter one, the darker ones maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to point out that uh, this chocolate is, uh, it's a mixture from, I think, um, Guatemala, Belize for sure, but I think Guatemala as well. Yeah, Maya. And uh, yeah, that's where the Maya's chocolate kind of like uh, originated from. And that's my favorite art no. artwork actually. And they have a, a video up on YouTube uh, of how they went there to Belize. Belize. Right. So should we start with this one? Oh yeah, let's, or, let's do that, yeah. So this one, right, it's uh, made with cacao from Belize and Guatemala. And uh, we saw a movie, they, they don't necessarily eat chocolate uh, bars, they drink it with water. Yeah, they make like a tea. But traditional Maya chocolate drink is actually, is also with uh, peppers, hot peppers. Yeah, so let's let's open it up. Yeah. So it's an interesting actually yes. bar. So they uh, split it open somehow. There's a factory in Austria uh, that makes the chocolate because yeah, you like you said, they don't make chocolate or sometimes in these places they drink them. So Guatemala cacao should be Criolla. It's pretty cool, like uh, there's a whole story. So this is 100%. No, there's no sugar. It's mostly fiber. It's just fiber, yeah. Let's try it. Let's try it. And actually it looks very light for a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's not a dark chocolate. No, it's extremely light. Interesting that it's not Bitter, as bitter as I thought, because I remember uh, we tried that uh, Lindt 100%. I remember it was very bitter, but this one is not. Because we've tried. Oh, there are some aftertaste notes. Oh, wow. I mean, it's definitely strong, but it's edible for 100%. Uh, it becomes sour, yeah, towards the end. They also saying that uh, they have a subtle finish with of tannin, mm -hmm. like in the black tea. Yeah. Similar, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does have that. Well, let's go like the, the darkers again, like so Madagascar. Okay, so I read that Ma Ma Madagascar chocolate is very prized um, because it has like a unique taste and it's grown in very small quantities. And this has more carbohydrates, I think. So it's gonna be more, I guess, uh, sweeter. Oh, it's interesting. And these chocolate bars, they're actually not that expensive. I mean, if you buy enough of them, their shipping is free. And if you look at other websites, you I mean the prices are absurd there. Yeah. And here it's not that bad. But what do you think the, of the color? We can, mm, we can, we can compare. Okay. So this one is, I would say, similar. Mm. Well, this one is a little bit more bitter, but not very bitter. It's more bitter, but it's more, it's less. It's creamy, no? Mm, yeah, it's more creamy. Wow. And it's more pleasant. So you would think that more bitter is ba bad, mm. but 
it's uh, pleasant to eat because oh. the other one was not just bitter. It had some flavor that was very uh, strong. This one is bitter, but it has uh, a flavor that you can eat. So it's you don't you can eat more of it. And it's sweeter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell it's it's yeah it's much sweeter. sweeter. But there's no sugar. So they they listed. So what do you like better? I think I like this one better. I, I think I like this one too. Mm -hmm. But the other one was really good too. So mm -hmm. I like that you can try different ones. But this one is definitely Madagascar. is definitely more like edible. It, it's it's edible and it's like it's full bodied aroma. Like you can mm -hmm. immediately taste. It's something unique. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's unique. It's hard to describe. It's of course the best mm -hmm. way is to experience it. So mm -hmm. let's do 90. Then. 90. Yep. Bolivia. Yeah, very, nice picture. very, very beautiful artwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the man that uh, is the mm -hmm. head of the company that goes finds these places. So this one, they say it's wood and fruit. And fruit. licorice, coffee. So they, they, they also talk about lingonberry finish. I don't know how they come up with <laughs> with those descriptions. Well, lingonberries because they're from Austria, so they probably grow them. So <laughs> they have something to compare to. <laughs> we know that lingonberries are a type of cranberry, so it must be mm -hmm. maybe sour. So they have uh, they added sugar, so this is not 100 mm -hmm. percent, um, and uh, but it's 90 percent, yeah, which is still pretty pretty good. And also less fat uh, oh, content uh, yeah. here. It's 15, so I guess more carbs, but a little bit. But I would say, like, if I was given the Madagascar one, I could eat that every day without the sugar. Mm -hmm. It's very, but it does have the sweetness. Sweetness. It does probably have some natural sugar, but the Maya is more difficult to eat. But definitely a lot like baking chocolate. Much, much better than that. Very expensive baking chocolate. Yeah. So this is the Bolivia dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, they, they don't write uh, what type of variety it is, so it's very likely for Astero. It's not that sweeter. No. I actually, true, like how he described it, I definitely taste a little bit of like coffee. Interesting. Coffee, yeah. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the chocolate from Trader Joe's. That was the, the 90, the 85%, 80, mm -hmm, 85, 85% mm -hmm. and it's very similar. It's, well, I mean, this has more notes, I would say, than the Trader Joe's ones. That one is more smooth and mellow. And this one has more interesting notes, I would say, yeah. like the coffee. Coffee and it's no. creamier, I mm -hmm. would say, and it's not as bitter as that one. I would say that one is less bitter, but maybe that's mm. just preferences or taste. Maybe we have different tastes, but yeah, yeah. I like it. So it's a, with the sugar, so mm -hmm. and sugar kind of. So what do you think about like when add sugar is added a bit to the chocolate? How does it affect? I don't know. Affect? I don't know. Like maybe if they didn't have the sugar here, I, I don't know how it would be. But if, for example, they didn't have the sugar, I think I would. Even now, I think I prefer the Madagascar one. Interesting. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I just like the Madagascar one. Yeah, it, it, it's very unique taste. Mm -hmm. Like I've never tried any, any other chocolate. Like we compared this and mm -hmm. Madagascar is, uh, stands out. Mm -hmm. I agree. This one is one, one that I want to try. It's Peru and we like the products in Peru. Mm -hmm. We tried like olives there. and. What else did we try? Olive, olive oil, 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 olive honey. That was really amazing. Amazing, yeah. So this is 82%. Mm -hmm. Grape, lemon, and olive. So it's six grams added sugar. And they say it's a vintage variety of cacao tree. Its fruit contains 30% of the criolla. And it says legendary white criolla. Mm, white criolla. Yeah, so criolla is like considered uh, one of the finest chocolates. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit lighter. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit lighter. Mm, much, much sweeter. Mm. Oh, wow. I feel I feel the, the grapes. It feels like there are dried grapes there. Mm, raisin and chocolate. Wow, that's the best chocolate I've tasted so really? far. Yeah. There's like, you first it's okay, chocolate, and then mm -hmm. you, you get the the punch of the grape, mm -hmm. raisins, I mean. But they didn't add too much, like a whole lot six. of sugar. Yeah, just six. Very, yeah. Uh, Raisins, yeah, there you go. See? Yeah, raisins, I can tell that, yeah. Yeah, very good chocolate, wow. Because I loved raisin chocolate before, <laughs> I would mix like raisins. I don't taste the other ones yet, the other things, like the olive, but the olive. but the raisin is really good. When you asked before about adding sugar or, yeah. or not, mm -hmm. I think this is a good one to add sugar because mm -hmm of the raisin flavors mm -hmm. to bring it out more. Yeah, I guess there's a reason for all of this. Yeah, no, this one so far mm -hmm. has been amazing. Uh, I really like this one. So the next one is 80. So this time That's it's Colombia. similar, I guess. Yeah. 80 is just like 85. But number one for me is still Madagascar. Madagascar. 
but so, but I like having them different. Like mm -hmm. I, I don't want just one. So it's for Colombia. They get it not just raw cane sugar, but also um, Muscovado sugar. Can well, I know this. that M Muscadine are grapes. So I don't know. Ah. Maybe maybe that's grape sugar. But they're not regular grapes. They're like wild grapes. Mm. It uh, grows close to the, the Sierra Nevada. Yeah, it's where the coffee is grown. So it's, a, I guess, gonna be a mix of Trinitario and Criolla. And it's women run. Yeah, so Cri Criolla, Trinitario, as I said, is a hybrid of Criolla and Forastero. And I guess Criolla will be like similar to Peru. And it's women run, mm -hmm. cooperative. So it's much lighter. Are they all vegan? Yeah, they're all vegan because there's no milk. There's no milk in them. It's no, no. milk chocolate. Interesting. Mm. Oh, wow. Dolce de leche kind of like a taste. There is a, a unique taste inside. I don't know if it's dolce de leche, but something like it. Something maybe like like malt. Like caramel maybe a little bit. But like, um, not like a sweet caramel, but like a dark, uh, that's why I say like barley malt or something. Like a dark maple, you know, something like that. Wow. It's hard to say. It's definitely different. Yeah, sometimes it's very difficult to describe these tastes. Yeah, they're so different from anything. No, but they're all different. So what's next? You like the picture here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty the, cool. The guy, 75%. Mm -hmm. How much sugar? Nine. And then the last one was seven. So mm -hmm. it's like going by one. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say that it was like much sweeter than the Peru one. Mm -hmm. This one says intense fruity notes of berries, cherries, banana and peach. This is Guatemala. Oh, this is a uh, high content of Criolla. So it's probably going to be similar to, I guess, Maya, Peru. But more sweet. Okay. Yeah, maybe if the Maya was more sweet, if not 100%, maybe, I don't know, maybe it would be better. This is Guatemala, but it's much sweeter. Mm. Interesting flavor. Reminds me of some sort of candy. My first um, question before trying all of these was how different are they going to be? And they're extremely different. And this one is a bit more, a bit sweeter than it's... the other. Yeah, for sure. You can already say that the sugar begins to mm -hmm. overwhelm a little but, bit. But it's a bit, I would say, strong mm -hmm. in taste. So I can see why there's more sugar here. After the aftertaste, it's, it has very a lot of tannins. A lot of tannins. Maybe that's why there's more sugar. Yeah, I, I guess my my personal preference is I wish the, this one was a bit less sugar uh, to bring out mm -hmm. more flavor because I can I can sense more sugar. But the aftertaste is pretty overwhelming, so I would it's, I see why they. I guess the sugar makes it like a little more mellow. Mm -hmm. Damn. But it's nine grams of sugar for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like we tried just a little bit and you don't need to eat a lot. Yeah. And the last one. Oh, Ecuador. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is also one that I'm interested to try, even though it is sweet. It's pretty sweet. So it's 14 sugar. It's like the sweetest one. And the fat content is a bit smaller. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see how it is. Yeah, this one will be sweet. But Ecuador is interesting. Mm -hmm. But I think milk chocolate is less than like 50%. Mm -hmm. Woody notes. It lacks any bitterness. Caramelized walnuts, toffee bonbon. So dry fruit, raisins. Oh, raisins. So this is Cacao Nacional. Um, so Nacional is a Forastero variety type of, it's kind of like subtype, but it's considered the finer quality of Forastero variety cacao. Let's try. So it should be like a, a chocolate that everyone likes or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. I guess the color doesn't change much, even, <laughs> even with 60% uh, because milk is not added. Mm -hmm. This one is definitely for the after notes, the aftertaste. The, you don't get the taste at first. No, 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 no. The first for me is sugar, just yeah. all melts, everything. Yeah. And then very slight mellow aftertaste. But uh, you still get the dark, dark chocolate taste, which is why you probably mm -hmm. like it. Yeah, the aftertaste is pretty good. I like it. Yeah. If I ate a lot of sugar, I would like it. But still, I mean, it's 30 grams for this whole, mm -hmm. 28 for this whole thing. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Let's recap. Recap, yeah. So we're just gonna quickly like do a taste test. Maya, let's go. Yeah, still strong. Oh, very strong, like. It's very delicious. I think maybe with tea. I mean, it's very sour, like extremely sour. Okay, let's go with Madagascar. Very pleasant. Mm -hmm. It's still a little bit sour and bitter, but, but not, not as much. Not as much. And then there's another taste that is more chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Because I would say like this one isn't even like chocolate. Uh, but it's also I don't know it's not as intense and it's mm -hmm. for this reason like you can you can sense the creaminess. Mm -hmm. It's very creamy. Okay, Bolivia. Trader Joe's, Colombian, very similar. 
but not too similar. Like for me, this one is less unique. Like I don't feel anything unique about it. Okay, this so this Peru. Yeah, that's my number one. Partly is because this one is 100% maybe, so it's a bit overpowering. Mm -hmm. But no, I think the taste, the raisin taste in the Peru one is amazing. Now, Colombia. Mm, yeah, the caramel taste. And then Colombian one was the coffee-like one. Mm -hmm. That was had a similar coffee taste to, to coffee. Now, Guatemala. Oh, there's a taste here. Mm. Yeah, for this one, I think I said that it's like candy, some sort of hard candy for me, like caramel. Mm. <clears throat> and the flavor in the Guatemala one is in the back of the throat. Wow, the Guatemala one is a definite must try because there's a specific flavor of this dessert that I can't wrap my head around. I got it. It reminds me so much of the mochi I used to make that had a filling made from tahini, maple syrup, and blueberries. The aftertaste is just like it. Wow. Yeah, Ecuador is pretty good, but it's too sweet for me. And that is it for this video, guys. Don't forget to use our link and coupon code BFILMS10 to get your 10% discount. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more travel and food review content. Also, check out another video we made on why chocolate prices are likely to be very high in the nearest future, linked here. Thanks for watching.